Da 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 da, good. What are you doing? You hanging out, bud? I know it's hard work, isn't it? Being a doggy. Being a doggy. <laughs> Sniffing it up. All right. So, anyways, um, did three coats of that Rust-Oleum stuff. Just to get a nice base. You can see it's like, maybe you could see, I don't know, it's a little splotchy, but that's because the spray pattern on those cans are round rather than uh, flat like these. That's why I use this at the ends. It'll even everything out. But this is just a nice base coat just to kind of get some black coverage on there. I never had any trouble putting this stuff on top of Rust-Oleum. I've done it for years. Never had an issue. Uh... So, just to let you know, this is how it came out right now. It looks pretty good. I mean, there's scratches and stuff with the bumper. I'm not really worried about that stuff. So, I could have repaired it if I wanted to. I just, I'm not really into it for this project. This is like my budget thing, just for fun. And you can see how I painted all this in here, make it look nice. It's gonna look nice, for sure. It's gonna look a lot better than what it was anyways. Like that, like this, like that. And then, now I'm gonna use this Semtrim Black. And uh, if you're not used to spraying stuff, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of experience, but you don't wanna get too close. You don't wanna get too far. You kinda wanna be like four, six inches away with a nice sweeping motion like so and you want to be tapping this boy you don't want to just hold down on it let's see if i can give you a little example of what i'm talking about here you gotta just kind of do like this Capiche? you don't want heavy coats you want light coats maybe two or three light coats really light coats in the beginning maybe the last coat you could put on a little heavier and that's what you got to do Try not to get bugs and stuff in the paint while you're doing it, but so like this, like this, back and forth, happy little trees, and we'll see how it turns out. I don't think I'm gonna have enough paint to do the grill, unfortunately. So we'll see what happens. I might put it on anyways, and then maybe repaint it, take it off some other day. I just want to see what it looks like with the grill and this stuff painted. So. I'm gonna go now. I'll come back when it's done. Gooch, what are you gonna do? You gonna just chill? All right. Hey man, do you, do you? Yeah, that's right. All right. I'm about ready to paint this thing. It took me about a half hour to tape up in between all those little crevices. Oh man, what a nightmare. I hope it comes out good worth all the work anyways i'm gonna spray this stuff i'm not even gonna scratch this up i'm just gonna spray over it it's gonna i don't know it'll stick i'm sure it'll stick but it would be a nightmare to try to scuff all that up so i got it taped up and i'm gonna spray it because it looks like it's about to rain gooch it's gonna rain yeah it looks like it's gonna rain right look at the sky's gray like your skin and this is done I started unmasking it using the tape on the grill. But this looks nice and nice. Came out so nice, Gooch. It's gonna look good when I'm done. Alright, let me paint this grill before it rains. Alright, a couple coats in. Just to give you a little tip if you plan on doing this. Since it's kind of a diamond awkward shape, you kinda wanna go in on angles like so try to get the tops what you're going to be seeing and you come around and come the other way like so like so okay. Just get it all covered
that's it don't try to put too heavy just nice light coats however long it takes four five six coats whatever let's see how it looks